So in this video, I'm going to talk about membrane proteins and second messenger systems with G proteins. And so there are many types of membrane proteins, but for now, we're going to talk about um, membrane proteins as a receptor. So the proteins in the membrane act as a receptor. And so let's think of a membrane like this. We have a protein with a unique shape in it. And so something will come in and bind to it called the ligand. So this is the ligand. And ligands are essentially messenger molecules that um, activate the receptor. And so after the receptor is activated, then the cell goes on and does a bunch of other stuff, which we'll talk about in a little bit. For example, if this was an, a ligand-gated ion channel, for example, when the ligand binds, um, the protein there will be a channel in the protein that will open up, and then stuff such as ions and that stuff can flow through the membrane. But more specifically right now we're going to talk about the second messenger system with G proteins. And so what happens here is first a ligand binds to the receptor. So a ligand binds here. And then because the ligand can't get into the cell and bind to other receptors um, there has to be a way for the signal to get passed on somewhere else. And so this is where a second messenger comes in. And so right there in the intracellular um, part of the cell, this is the intracellular part of the cell, here is a G protein. And so the ligand activates this receptor, and the receptor then activates the G protein. So then it essentially passes it off. So the G protein then goes off to the side. We'll use blue. So it kind of goes off to the side, and um, then it relays a signal to something called adenyl adenylate cyclase. So let's pretend uh, this thing here. I'm, I'm going to erase the G protein part. Let's pretend this green blob here is the adenylate cyclase. And so this adenylate cyclase, it, um, I'll write it over here, converts ATP to ADP. I mean, uh, sorry, to cyclic AMP also called CAMP, which is another second messenger. And so once the adenylate cyclase is activated, it converts ATP to CAMP, and then CAMP then activates kinases. And so you'll have um, kinases, we'll just use that for orange, this is a kinase. And so what happens is the CAMP over here is going to go activate a kinase. And then finally the kinases go and phosphorylate groups to um, uh, activate the enzymes. So, for example, um, 
the phosphorylated enzymes can open up channels into the heart cells and a bunch of other stuff. So it's essentially just passing off a signal to um, other receptors to get a designated effect in the cell. And so just to summarize, it essentially goes from receptor, receptor binds, then G protein, detaches, and then adenylene cyclase activates, so CAMP, um, is made, and then CAMP activates kinases. So activates kinases. And finally, the kinases phosphorylate other proteins to activate them and to produce a res de the desired response. And so since the ligand is not changed or whatever, it can continuously bind. And as a result, that's probably not something you want to keep occurring, to have things going on. Um, and so there are things, there are membrane enzymes. that are different from the proteins that we talked about, the receptors. And so they can break down so break down chemical messengers after their activity is completed. And this key thing is done to prevent excessive stimulation of a cell or other messengers. And so I hope this video helped you. If it did, please like it and share it with your friends.